Everly leaves it for Andy Sutton, shoots and scores! Everly against Scott, centering pass, Sutton scores! Andy Sutton! He opened it ahead, Skinner to work, and look out, Sutton! Counted off the boards, and a huge hit! Andy Sutton flattens Jamie McGinn! Welcome to another edition of Ask an Oiler presented by Ford. Today's guest, a very special guest, a happy fellow, uh, the self-proclaimed Velveteen Giant. On a day like today, which is Valentine's Day, he is a lover and not a fighter, Andy Sutton. Andy, hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Good. I see you've prepared well again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Great first question. Well, okay, this segment is all about questions that the fans have to ask you, not what I'm asking you. So we'll get to the fan questions. Are you prepared for this, at least? I'm going to do my best. All right. Always the consummate pro, Andy Sutton. Brian from Edmonton asks, it seems both you and the Oilers are happy. They get a reliable veteran defenseman that wants to be here. Uh, you get to be part of something that could be very special with this group of kids. What else appeals to you about staying another year? Well, I, lo I love the city. Um, you know, at my age, actually just being here and helping out with the young kids is a uh, a big part of what you know brings me to the rink every day. I really enjoy that, and um, it's just great for my my wife and new daughter just to stay put for a while. Excellent. All right, you talked about that a little bit yesterday when it was announced. Why is it nice to kind of be in one spot? Because you are starting. This is a new family for yeah. you. Your daughter's quite young. Yeah. Yeah. She's only five months. They just got here about two weeks ago, so I wasn't looking too forward to moving again at the deadline. Um, but that's, you know, that's not really the reason I wanted to stay. The reason I wanted to stay is because I love the organization, where it's going, and the, the players we have. Excellent. All right, Andy, next question is from Keenan in St. Albert. Um, you seem to like it here, and we just talked about that. What has been the biggest difference when comparing the reputation of playing for the Oilers to actually playing for the Oilers? Well, I think the... The team surprised me. I mean, uh, you, you hear about an exciting team, this and that, but the guys we have are, they're very professional. You know, they, they have a, you know, they're, they're learning every day, these young guys, but they, they're a lot uh, more beyond their years than they would show. So that really has surprised me a lot. Okay. Uh, we're going we're gonna to combine these next two questions. Uh, Vicky from Westlock asks, uh, who's your favorite to, team to play against? And then Sean from Edmonton asks, what is your favorite arena to play in? All good questions. Uh, I don't know. I guess my favorite team to play against is Philadelphia. They always have a kind of a rough and tumble lineup. It always seems to be that type of game. It's kind of fun. And, and I actually really like playing in Philly. I played my first NHL game there, so it's always had kind of a, a special uh, feeling for me. What are the fans like in Philly? Because we hear that they're brash, but when you're on the ice, what are you hearing from them? Just You just hear a great energy. I mean, they, they love their teams there, and uh, you can definitely feel that when you're out there. And then playing there, you're obviously a big guy so kind of suits your style a little bit yeah it's it's fun they're always uh pretty aggressive games physical games and it's uh, they're always a lot of fun excellent okay andy uh moving on mandy from whitefish bay ontario asks if you weren't in the nhl what do you think you'd be doing well i, I was uh studying to be an environmental engineer at school um i don't think i would have stayed down that path it was kind of becoming less and less interesting to me as i went along um, but i always had aspirations of being a family doctor wow so who knows what happens after <laughs> your playing career if you don't you know uh, stick with hockey well i'm working on a, an equipment line actually right now it should be out um, by the fall um, and beyond that i'm i'm thinking about uh, starting an agency uh oh what kind of agency talent Need some yeah, talent. yeah, yeah, yeah. Broadcasting agency. Yeah. Oh, hey, You'll be my first client. Awesome! I can't yeah. wait. Yeah, Thank no you, Andy. <laughs> All right, Mario from Edmonton asks, "What do you think is the team's biggest challenge and needs to improve at to eventually make the playoffs?" And he also throws in, "Great to have you back for another year." Oh well, thanks. And uh, I think more than anything, we just have to become uh, more consistent. You know, we have obviously this wealth of talent here, and. Um, I think so, sometimes we, we try too much um, to create offense and maybe you know give up a little bit too much defensively when I think we don't really have to do that to win consistently. So when we get that balance right is when you're going to see more wins in the win column. Have you sensed that kind of changing throughout the year? I mean, it's, yeah. maturity comes over time, and, and the young guys have only been here for so long. But do you kind of see glimpses of that happening now later on in this season? Yeah, definitely. I mean, and, and you see it for longer stretches now. You know, I think uh, obviously we started out great and that was awesome. But then we kind of the, the, the stretch of, of poor play went on lo a long time. And then we, you know, we've shortened those spans now. So we're playing better for longer periods of time. Okay, Good, good answer, Andy. All right, moving on. Tina from Winnipeg. Uh, hey, Andy, with you being a vet, what was it like coming to this young team with all these young guys? How is it different from any other club you've been with when you think back to uh, when you did finally come over to Edmonton? 
Well, the thing, the thing for me is that's sort of, you know, maybe become part of my role, my legacy. I mean, I seem to play for all these types of teams all the way along. So I'm pretty used to this. You know, we had the same thing in, in Long Island, and it was a very young team when I got to Atlanta. Um, so this is something I'm pretty used to, and um, it's, it's really not, not too uh, indifferent here. All right, moving on. Travis from Edmonton. Uh, this is about, uh, if you recall, uh, white lightning, as you've dubbed your stick. Um, he wants to know what kind of flex do you use and why white? I don't. I just like the white one. I think it looks looks kind of cool, and um, not too many guys have it, which is kind of fun. And then I've actually gone down to only like 105 flex. I was used to use 125, 130 back in the day, and I just don't really want to work that hard anymore to shoot the puck. <laughs> <laughs> but you still get the results, 102 miles per hour yeah. at the skills competition. That was a snapshot. <laughs> <laughs> Always modest, Andy. Always <laughs> modest. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Not Certainly appreciate it. Happy Valentine's Day. Back at you. Thank you very much. And thank you, fans, for all of your questions. And thanks for joining us for another edition of Ask an Oiler, presented by Ford.